Hello, and welcome to Around the Panhandle with TV10, a Hornby Media Group production. I am your host, Colin McLaughlin. We will be looking at things to do, places to go, and people to know throughout the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. This episode features Bricks 27. Right in the heart of downtown Martinsburg, Bricks 27 offers a great place to go and be social. They have a rotating wine list of over 45 wines that are dispensed in multiple serving sizes by their automated wine machines. Bricks 27 also serves numerous food platters to go with your flights of wine. I sat down with Executive Chef Hunter Blackford and General Manager and Beverage Director Corey Waldeck to discuss how the pandemic has affected business, what types of wine they serve, and more about BRICS 27. This is what they had to say. The pandemic has affected business. Um, we get a lot of people that are out that will come in and they'll be like, hey, you know, it's the first time we've been out in months. Um, a lot of people haven't been out. So it's it's hurt sales, but at the same time, it's, it's always a battle. Um, this is a good part of town. At the same time, a lot of people that have come in and love the restaurant have been really good to us and they keep coming in. Um, we've been really good with our separations for the six feet and, um, you know, it's just, it is one of those things. It is what it is. There's a lot of excuses to be made, but I don't want to use them. We're very clean already. We wash our hands constantly. Um, you know, we wear gloves all the time, regardless anyway. Um, so I think a big part of it is just, um, the mask, making sure everyone's clean and tidy, you know, um, taking your temperatures when you come in, when you leave, making sure you're not sick, uh, kind of the normal, but as an overall scale, I don't think really much has changed on the kitchen aspect. I mean, we're a very clean um, kitchen where I'm sure a lot of businesses can kind of agree where it really didn't change much for us. Um, clearly wearing the mask is kind of uncomfortable when you're standing in front of a 150, 200 degree uh, salamander. Um, but just through time, I think we've come to overcome the whole mask issue, which is very nice. I think that was a big part of it was um, just being able to work efficiently with this thing covering your face. But um, granted, everyone's awesome here. Everyone wears their masks and, you know, they do their part. We have like hand sanitizing stations set up. We definitely uh, worked with like our janitorial um, company a little bit more to get more soaps in the building, get more um, hand sanitizer, all that kind of fun stuff. So. Honestly, it didn't change a whole lot. Um, I have a staff about four or five, and then I have two dishwashers. So it's a relatively small staff. I think I have like six or seven people all together. So a uh, very, very small staff, very close knit. Um, you know, we all work really well together and we all have like our, our different tasks, our different things that we do every day. Um, so yeah, fairly small crew, but uh, it takes a team to get it done, so. First thing that we do is lunch service. Um, so I usually come in, I uh, have one person working lunch before me. So typically I just come in, make sure stuff that needs done gets done, uh, work a lunch service, um, two hour break in between. So from two to four, we close down, get prepped on any kind of big batch stuff, uh, just kind of get ready for the dinner service for the evening. And then pretty much from then on, it's just mise en place. So getting all of our stuff up to the line, getting ready, um, just making sure we have everything on hand, at hand, that we need it. And then uh, just working on dinner service, and that's about it. I'll clean up and go home, start it all the next day. Here is Corey using the wine machine to pour a flight of wine for a customer. He then explained to me how they choose the types of wines for each flight. We've broken our wines down into flights, so you can do an Italian flight where you get a sampling of three Italian wines. Um, you can do a Virginia, well, a Washington flight where you'll get a sample of three wines from the Virginia region. Um, Spanish wines, uh, Moscatos, different types. We try to cover a whole genre in different areas of the country, that they, in different areas of the world that they'll come from. Well, there's a lot of old pairing techniques. So if you want to do something like a vegetable dish, you'll want to do a Sauvignon Blanc somewhere in that area. Um, rich dishes come with rosés. Um, we study a lot of the different wines, uh, the wine cultures and the wine books to make sure that we're on point. Um, yeah, it's just a different knowledge. And then it's, all, it's always about taste. Some people say that there's bad wine. I don't enjoy this wine. This wine's terrible. But the wines are, it may just not be for you, but no wines are really bad. 
and you can do, you know, it's just a matter of the flavor profiles. If you want to do something spicy, um, usually you want to go with a little bit of a sweeter dish, uh, maybe a Moscato, somewhere in that line. Um, traditionally, wines are compared, paired with chicken, uh, are usually going to be white wines. Uh, usually with meat, you'll do red wines, and that's a traditional. Not a lot of people follow that tradition anymore. They're just kind of like, this is the wine I like, this is the food I want. And so you just kind of pair off the flavor profiles of each wine to go with the dishes that you're serving. I sell a lot of sweet wine. Uh, the Moscatos, we do a sweetheart flight where you'll do two different types of Moscato and you'll do a Riesling. Um, and uh, it, that's probably my number one dish. The uh, French flight is a really good one. The Italian flight, people love Italian wines. They've been doing it Italian wines. They've been doing it for a really long time. And uh, you know, then you get over here in California, people like to see what the new world of wine is doing. Number one for us is definitely our Brussels sprouts. Um, sounds really strange. We've had this dish since the beginning and people love it. Um, uh, crab mac and cheese is always a top contender since we've added on the entrees. Um, a lot of the entrees are awesome. I mean, uh, we're doing like a pork barbecue board. Um, so we smoke all the pork in house, do all the sides, all the pickling. That's super popular. Um, doing just uh, different cuts of steak that, you know, help out the price point a little bit. I think all the entrees are pretty top contenders. Um, sell a lot of scallops here, a lot of Brussels sprouts, crab mac and cheese. Um, definitely the stuff that's more shareable for the tables is honestly the ones that get sold the most. Um, like I said, we're kind of like a tapas uh, tasting restaurant almost. So a lot of the times when tables come in, the best thing for them is stuff that they can kind of all share or deviled eggs or something like that. So, um, yeah, I feel like definitely a lot of the dishes sell well. Um, and honestly, I enjoy making all of them. Um, I can't really pick and choose a favorite. I definitely am not, uh, too keen on cutting Brussels sprouts at this point. So, uh, we go through about three cases of those a week. So your fingers can definitely hurt by the end of the week on those, but, you know, uh, we're just here to cook food. Briggs 27 is an experience. You know, you want you to enjoy yourselves. This is a, this is an amazing experience to have. Um, you know, we, we, we dine in, we do the tapas style where it's all shareable. It's a great learning experience for the people that work here and for the people that want to dine here. Um, the wines, you can you learn about the wines, you can learn about the flavors, you can learn about how things come, how things grow, how things are made in every country. Um, you can learn about the food. The food pairs well with the wine. Um, and it's just an overall experience that you're going to get from out of this restaurant. Um, you're not going to get this experience in a lot of places, especially in this region. Um, and I think in West Virginia, I've worked in a few other restaurants. I've even worked in some restaurants outside of the state. And this is, this is probably one of the better West Virginia restaurants that I've ever worked in. Bricks 27 is located at 131 North Queen Street in Martinsburg. You can visit their website www.bricks27.com or call them at 304-616-1628. Bricks 27 is open Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m.